Hi everyone. You sorry about that again. The usual. I scheduled a live stream uh, stream and it wasn't a, um it just came up and didn't load up. So it's the usual. Um I don't know how I'm gonna do it. I'll probably have to start announcing it through the day and then just saying that I'll be going live at half past seven and doing it that way. So how are we all doing? How are we doing, Michael? Keysman. <clears throat> how are you doing, Doc Smith? Hi, Jaden. Hey, JM, Adrian, Kirsty, how are we all doing? So I thought I would just do a live stream. Um, I do apologise about the... Uh, I'm happy to see you as well, Keysman. Um, I thought I would do a live stream because I've not really put up much content this week. I've been quite busy with calls and stuff. Um, I spoke to some fantastic people this week. I've, 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 had, a, I've had quite a strange day today in particular, like, um, so... Um, it's been quite, it's it's obviously picking up, the, the work's picking up, which I'm very, very grateful for. And I'll just, before we get started, I'll just say that um, if anyone does need any help or if, or if they're waiting on a reply back for an email or anything like that, if I've missed it, just give me a shout. How are we doing, Scott? Hi, Kirsty, Tamsey. It's raining, Adrian, is it? Hi, Sarah Claire. Patsy, how are we doing? Full bell mon, hi, how are you doing? Hey, Christine. Hi, Carmen. Open your mind. How are you doing? Right, so um, I wasn't actually sure what we were going to talk about. Um, it's, I mean, there's plenty, obviously, to discuss. We can obviously see the immigration problems getting worse. Um, I mean, that's just getting absolutely unreal. Uh, I think we've had the highest highest amount of immigrants in the other day there, in one day. So it's not stopping. And I, I just don't understand why people want to still keep coming here, even though they're seeing what's going on. Yeah, Patsy, there is lots going on. Um, and I've actually just gotten back into... Uh, I've actually just gotten back into reading myself. I knew it would happen, but I've, I, I mean, I've really gotten back into it. I'm almost getting up to 100 pages a day again. Um, which which is optimum level for me. And when you're doing that, you're reading books pretty quickly. <clears throat> just review, invite you for a chat. Uh, whereabouts? Uh, is that not what we're doing just now? <clears throat> Hi, Lady Cats, how you doing? Yeah. Just review. I've 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 went through all my emails, mate. I don't know what you're talking about. What what is it that you're referring to? Are you sure you're sending it through? Because I've I've um I've I went through all my emails today. Um, I was even emailing people that I'd actually already responded to, uh, just in case that I'd missed them. So you will have to send it again. Um, you need it's talking to me on the phone as a paid membership. Just review. Um, as I said in a video the other night there. It's it's important that I keep it to that, okay? Um, no, I, I don't. I don't think you have me. It's that's not true. <clears throat> I don't think you have because I would have seen them. I check my emails every single morning. It's the first thing that I do after my Spanish lesson. So, um, and like I say, one-on-one uh, -on -one calls. I'll always respond to emails. But if I'm setting them up, up a membership in the main uh, part of that is to have one-on-one -on -one calls, then I don't think it's fair that I do it for free um, for other people. And it is just a small donation. It's If you don't want to sign up to the membership, you can donate £5 to <coughs> uh, to my PayPal, and that will get you the same the same service for a month. So um, it's, it's never been about money, but these calls can take quite a while at times. <clears throat> Yeah, Jade, and it is a fair price. I thought I thought it was fair myself. That's why I done it. Um, because, I, like I say, I don't want to make this about money. But when it does take start to take up your time, I mean, you, you do have to put something in for it. So, and I do appreciate every single person that's done that. Um, it's it's um, it's really great. I'm really grateful to you. It's really generous. Yes, yeah, Scott, the Spanish lessons are going very well. Um, it's uh, it's. I mean, I was actually speaking to someone today that, that that I was helping, and they they'd spoken fluent Spanish, like, and uh, I couldn't believe it. Cause I was just thinking the other day there, I could do with someone that 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 I could speak fluent Spanish to, and I didn't have anyone. So uh, synchronicity was just um, it was it was there, 
again, and I was really grateful. So that's someone that I can speak one on one. So I, I dare say that it will go, it will go very, very quickly uh, now that I can speak to someone. <clears throat> Sorry, I just had to remove that. That was a troll there, that just review. I'm not having that. That's just someone that's trying to antagonise. and um, they, They're just on trolls for a second. They are really trying to get to me this week. It's really funny because what they've been doing is, like we were talking about the uh, the flat earth last week, and they, see, trolls are there to antagonise people, and they're there to set doubt into people's minds because they know that the people that's doing it or the people they're working for know the effect that that has on reality. So that's why they do it. And they need to try and antagonize and undermine and cause division. And what they do is they, because like I'd said, the earth isn't flat. So what they do is they then come in and say, well, I watched one of your videos and you were saying the earth was flat and uh, you're really ridiculous. And they start ridiculing you because what they're trying to do is they're trying to, they're trying to get a reaction for you to jump in and say, what the hell are you talking about? Do, do, do. So as soon as they start, I can I can identify their language straight away. Like this guy here, this just review, that's that's done deliberately to try and antagonize. There's no there's no one that's been every single person that emails my account will get a reply. Um even if I miss it, if they just send another one, I will get back to them. I always will. So this person coming into the chat and saying that um we are sending these emails and they're not actually doing it. It makes it look like you're, you're, you're being unfair um, when it's just not the case. <clears throat> yeah, Tamsi, it's, it's, it's that old chestnut, in it? So, uh, yes, yeah, Scott, as I was saying with the Spanish lessons, they're going very well, sir. Thank you very much. Uh, Keysman, my, my email is it's just in my channel description, mate. Um, it's almac37 at mail.com. If you just go into my channel description on, on YouTube, you can just fire us an email over there and I'll get back to you. <clears throat> yes, yeah, Scott, that was it. You called and the universe answered and there was, there was actually another one. There was another fellow I was helping, or I'm helping at the moment. Um, a fantastic guy. Um, it's a pleasure to help him, honestly. And um, he's actually moving He's moving somewhere where uh, I was actually thinking about going that I haven't uh, been for a long time, somewhere up in the north of Scotland, near Not Loch Ness. So, it said you're welcome to come up and visit. So it's it's just amazing how synchronicity actually works. <clears throat> how we doing, opinionated Glaswegian? Glad you can join us, mate. I'm doing very well. How are you, sir? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, Professor. I, you know, I, I'm like a football pundit with a microphone. It's just, I mean, it's when I bought this, it was just like um, I, I didn't really look much at it. I thought that looks okay. It's cheap enough. It'll do. But it's not very practical to sit anywhere like so. I'm better just holding it like that, I. But I'm like a football fan. <laughs> Sarah Claire saying she was invited to migrate from CTC to UC and decided just to manage. Thank you for your honest advice. You're very welcome, Sarah Claire. Honestly, <clears throat> it's a pleasure. Yeah, Jaden, good riddance, absolutely. Ap apologies to anyone if you hear any bang or anything like that. That's that's my neighbours, unfortunately. Yeah, that's it. Opinionated glass region, isn't it, mate? You know you're winning when they're when when they're coming when they're starting coming at you. And I can I can identify them, not a problem, because there was one that came one day, this was about three weeks ago. <laughs> it, 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 when, when he added me on Instagram, I thought I, this is a troll, but then I thought maybe it's somebody that's just created an account because they need help because they've not got any other way to get in contact. So I hadn't had a, an email address up at that time. It might have been a wee bit longer than that, actually. Well, this person, they'd obviously been monitoring my, uh, the comments because they weren't part of the comments that, that I was commenting on. And they directed me towards this site that, that apparently gave evidence that all the people, all the truth tellers of the world are all shells. And there's just no evidence whatsoever, but they know that it sows doubt. Um, but I knew straight away just by the language that he was talking. And he, he, they started to flaffle a little bit and he was coming back. And I was like, well, now, you, now you're coming with the novels because I know exactly how they work. And it must send them absolutely off their heads. And then as soon as they send the, the big novel they've just typed, you just block them so they've wasted their time. And it must send them absolutely mad. <clears throat> Hi, Loz, how you doing? 
So they'll just, yeah, that's it, opinionated Glaswegian, isn't it? I mean, it's fine to have different opinions of the beliefs there. I mean, it, it's, it, it doesn't really matter, really, does it? I mean, we can say, right, uh, you say it's, someone says it's flat, I say it's round, right? Okay, so we can agree, agree to disagree, and then we can just go on with our lives and, 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 and talk about the things we do agree on. Um, and the truth will always come out in the end, so there's no need to... I mean, I've, I had it with someone that, with the flat earth last week there, and he was obviously offended by my opinions, and I said that to him, like, I said, you're obviously triggered, like, um, I mean, why are you so triggered? And I, I'd explained why I, I think it's round, um, and he started kind of saying, well, H2O doesn't bend. And I had said to him, well, how come rivers have got bends in them then? Just as a sort of joke. And he, he didn't really like it. And he says, I'm, uns I'm, uns I'm unsubscribing. And it's like, but that, that, that's your right. You can do that if you want. But it's it doesn't. It's not going to help just because we disagree on that. It doesn't mean to say we, we can't agree on other things. And we, we, <laughs> it just, um, that's... <sighs> Some people can handle it better than others' disagreements. I wasn't great at it before, but I've came to the belief that everyone deserves to 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 have their say and have their own opinion and go through the motions because I I, I wasn't always where I am now. I, I mean, I've been corrected many times, things that I've thought was right and then realised that actually that was wrong. That's life. That's the way it goes. But it, it takes a big man to to um to admit when you're wrong, like. Hi, Loz. Sorry, I'll get to your question now. Um, so, is, so you're saying there you were on restart scheme and the first question they ask is what, what was your pronouns? They were always late for your appointments and I was told to attend. What did they ask you for your pronouns and what did you say to them, Loz, if you don't mind me asking? No problem at all, Kaysman. I'll hear, I'll hear from you soon, hopefully. Yeah, Claire, restart scheme is a waste of tax money. There's no doubt about that. And from what I can see, it's just another bloody scam. And this is why, as well, they're desperate to obviously know uh, employer information. I'd spoken to Richard from Dynamic Duo, a fantastic guy on the phone this week, and he, uh, he was telling me about the ordeal he'd gone through with them with the lies and that that he's been told. And I can see that they've got some some deeply disturbed people doing that job that are going out and, and, and willing to lie to claimants so that they, they, they don't get their rightful entitlement and people are having to fight tooth and nail to get their money. And it's just absolutely, it, it really is. It's, 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 it sickens me to my stomach that there's human beings out there that will that, would, that are willing to pick up a wage for doing such a thing. I know we need to make money and we can, we can uh, sort of try and do our best in the jobs that we're in, but you don't need to do the job that way. And I actually spoke to one of my old colleagues and they're actually saying that the job's actually getting worse. I mean, we couldn't really do much before for claimants, but apparently I think more things are locked now that the agents can't do. So it must just be an absolute nightmare for the agents, or even more so now than it even was when I was there. <clears throat> and thank you for your subscribe for subscribing, Laws. I really appreciate you. And I'm more than happy to have you. Yeah, and your, your, Laws is saying that she eventually found her own job and they ha they hounded her for contract details and they're, they're still trying to make appointments. So they're obviously desperate to get the details to get the money for it. Good stuff, OG. If I start getting more of these trolls in, opinionated Glaswegian, I might, I might get you to be someone that like what you do on Alex, Alex's... Um, channel where you, you're sort of, it's like a manager of it where you can remove people, but I've not had too many trolls in the live chat, to be honest with you. <clears throat> yeah, D, I will keep fighting the good fight all the way, man. <clears throat> Claire saying, or to Laws that a restart said she had super connection with DW, but she didn't know anything about the benefit system. There's a surprise. Hi, Rob. How you doing, sir? I'm very, very well. Thank you. Yeah, Patsy, the 77th, no doubt about it. I had a look into them, so I did a couple of weeks ago. And But as coincidence would have it, they were commenting the next day in one of my, my, well, my next video that I'd done, asking me if I wanted to join them. Just, it's ridiculous. So it makes you wonder, how did they, I don't believe in coincidence myself, like... <clears throat> Yeah, and they, they, what they do, what these trolls do is they go out there and they sow division. They start saying that you're a shell and you're a shell, and that was another thing. That guy with the flat that that, that left because I didn't believe the earth was flat. 
there's so many of them that they start accusing you of being a shell. Now, I used to, I used to hear people say that. I used to wonder, are they a shell? But now, I know I'm not a shell. And the people around me know that. I, I, just, I know what the truth is. So it's so I know there's at least one person they've accused of being a shell that I know is not, and that's me. So it's very unfortunate. It really is. I don't, I don't think it has to be that way. And there was a guy on the chat last week that said, you find, when I'd asked, what's, the, what's it going to do? Like, when, like, if we find out that the earth's flat, I mean, what difference does it really make? It doesn't really, I mean, fair enough, it'd be interesting. It'd be like, geez, oh, that's pretty interesting. But I don't think it makes that much of a difference to, to people's realities, really. Um, and this this chap claimed that he would you find the truth of yourself um, within your heart. And I actually think it might have been the same person that was in those comments. Um, I'm not sure. But you don't find the truth of yourself. And uh, he said, you find the truth of yourself in the shape of the earth. It's like, no, you find the truth of yourself in your heart. I mean, to say you find the truth of yourself in the shape of the earth is just, it's, 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 it's not something I would agree with. <clears throat> yeah, raindrops are round. Absolutely, that's a good point we want, Prof. Oh, absolutely, saggy dogs. Without saying a lot of truth, people have been shells. I'm not saying they don't exist. Absolutely, they do. 100% agree with that. And thank you for saying that. I really appreciate that. I try to be as real as I can, and I said this to Sean Paul um, at getting the ball rolling, and because I, my, my bus was late into Glasgow, and um, he couldn't get a hold of me because it was on an airplane, and he was worried I wasn't going to show up. And I always I say, look, if I'm going, if I say I'm going to do something, I'll do it. And he said, so, yeah, you've, you're, you're a pretty real person. It's like, well, you've got to be. That's the kind of society we need. We need to be real and need to tell the truth. And if you if you do make an appointment and you don't turn up. It's just, it's it's not a good look. Obviously, if something happens, barring a tragedy or, or anything like that, um, it's just that, that everyone has to do that because it's, it's what will help change the world. <clears throat> yeah, open your mind. It doesn't really matter flat or round. It, it, it really doesn't. Like I say, it would be interesting if it turns out that it was flat, but I, I, don't, I don't think it is like, but again, <clears throat> I've not been up there. Well done, Laws, saying I'm not playing that game. You put what you like down. <laughs> well, that like that guy that, that, that contacted me, I can't name him because he doesn't want to be named. Um, he, he'd said to me like that that uh, he'd made up fraudulent details of their company and they still managed to come back with something. So, Yeah, Scott, you have to make mistakes to be able to learn. Uh, not every bad thing has to be negative, absolutely. Because no, no one's ever, ever 100% right, are they? Certainly not me anyway, and I've, I'll no doubt as I go through my journey um, in 10 years' time, I may look back on things that I've looked at now and say, oh, well, I was actually wrong about that. I more than likely will, because we don't know anything. In the grand scheme of things, we, absolute, we know absolutely nothing about reality, about the universe, any of it. We've, we've had literally had hundreds of thousands of years of history hidden, hidden from us that we don't know about. It, it's, it's, it is insane how much we don't know about life and the world and even the people that are enlightened and do maybe know a little bit more, even them on the, on the grand scheme of things, they don't know anything either. Yeah, I know, I know what you're saying, opinionated, but no one's saying it's a ball. See, this is, this is where you have gone wrong with it. It's, it's an oblate spheroid and there, there doesn't seem to be any, see, Axial possession is it, it explains so much about this world. And then when you look at the sacred geometric nature of the universe and like the, the procession of the equinoxes, which the ancient cross uh, called the great year, that's that completely changes the game. And when it's not brought into the conversation, it's it's it, it means you've not they've not looked at all sides of it. Now I've got a friend that 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 that's of the same opinion of yourself and, and he, he says the same thing and we disagree on it but you need to take into consideration the nature of reality, it's, it's, it's an illusion anyway, it's a holographic illusion so there's so much more to know about it and the, like the, the, the guy, like my pal that, that, that believes it, he always says that he doesn't believe anything that comes out of NASA or anything that comes out of any of them while these people do lie they still need to give truth on some matters to give it credibility because kayfabe 
like a fake reality. For it to be more believable, you need to give them a little bit of the truth so that they'll believe the lie. Because if everything was lies, it, it, it wouldn't have lasted as long as this. It's nowhere near as potent. Whereas if you put the truth in the middle of something and put two lies on the outside of it, it's far more potent for manipulation and manipulating people into creating their, 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 their miserable little, little illusions, what they've done. And th this, is, this is the type of information we need to start looking at. Um, this is just my opinion. Um, I've looked at many scientific data, loads of it to, to support this, the, the, the holographic simulation theory. Um, it's almost certainly what it is. And whether the Earth's flat or round in that is, it really doesn't matter because there's so much more to know about it. Um, and, and, and I would, honestly, if I, if I were you, I would encourage people to look into that. <clears throat> Yeah, it's an oblate spheroid. It's like a paper bag effect. And it does, I mean, it does explain a lot. A lot of the ancients talked about it. It's in a lot of, um, it's in a lot of ancient texts and stuff like that. And I know people question the validity of those, but I've got like, um, I've seen, read many interviews and inside information and that, were, that was published back in 1998, and it, it, it's basically described, it's some of the stuff it describes in it is absolutely unreal, and like I say, there's just so much more to it, and um, I think we need to understand reality as a whole, not just the shape of the earth, because I think it's so important, like, <clears throat> because all, all everything is, is waveform information, that's, all, that's basically all it is, it's, it's, it's just like electrical signals, um, I mean, what was the bill? The, the 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 bill Hicks talked about it. All matter is merely energy condensed to a slow vibration, um, and you, life is merely a dream, and you're the imagination of yourself. It's all just an illusion. It's just like the five senses is just electrical signals that are interpreted by your brain. And I know it seems solid, but it's it's not. And this is this is this is the amazing thing about reality that we've not been told. That's the sec This is the secrets that the secret societies are keeping from us. Hey, Ali, how you doing, pal? Hey, Acoustic. <laughs> yeah, OG, I'll, I'll need, I'll need, I don't even know how to get you onto the channel to do that. I'll need to, I'll need to maybe ask Alex. I sent Alex a text earlier on, like, just to say to him to, to, if he needed anything with regards to his next venture. He's going to be going round the towns and cities. I think it's in Scotland. I'll need to get some. I'll need to look at the link, though, because I didn't have time to read it earlier on. I'll have a look at it after this. <clears throat> Yeah, someone saying there that the restart scheme you have to stand up to them toe to toe. Absolutely, you do. Open your mind, saying Alex, uh, tax credit stopped his daughter's tax credit in January due to her coming off DLA. I've not received nothing from my daughter since they stopped. They keep saying I had it as it's April to April. See, open your mind. I would need to, if, if you could, you would maybe need to email me about that. Um, I would need inf more information on that. So if you could maybe send me a wee email when you get a chance and we'll discuss it there, okay? <clears throat> Thank you, Acoustic. That's really nice of you, mate. Hi, YJ, JB. It's first time in the live chat. Welcome, sir. If she's, if she, I, I was thinking that there, if it was something to do with education, if she's still in education, it depends on what age, that stops at 20. So as long as she's 20 or below, then yes, um, she, you should still be getting paid for that. Yeah, there is a, an eclipse coming on April 8th, and I'm actually, uh, the books I'm reading just now, like my next, uh, uh, the next video I want to do is, like I mentioned, the stress farm, and I'll go into, this is, I'll talk about the nature of reality. You need to understand a wee bit about reality, why they would want such a stress farm and why there's so many wars. So I'm just trying to think about how to put it together. So I'm, like I say, I'm getting through books pretty quickly. So um, hopefully that'll make it a little bit better. Yeah, we're all going to, we're, like I said a couple of weeks ago, we're never going to agree on everything. So we have to just respect that people are at where they're at in their journeys and, I mean, I had someone saying to me for years about extraterrestrials and I didn't look into it. I was so close-minded to it. 
And yet, when you actually look at these things, it, it can often change. Um, so, but you need to be ready for that. No one can force that that message onto you. You need to be ready for it. <clears throat> Yeah, there's. It's just as it it's just like as a computer game. It's just a massive simulation, and it's, it's what the, it's what um, acoustics is saying there. And it is. It's got the exact same physics as an Xbox game, and this is why the Fibonacci sequence on one level is so is so prominent. It's why it's so prominent right out through nature because of that. Because on one level, it would express itself uh, uh, numerically. So there's just it's just there's, there's there's a lot there's a lot of evidence to support it. There really is. <clears throat> Hi, Slavic Crusader from Russia. Brilliant to have you, sir. Well done. Thank you for joining us. It's really good of you. <clears throat> I really appreciate you, and I, and and you're welcome here. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, OG. Saying I'm not a shell. I'm glad. I'm glad you see it that way, mate. Leah's asking that if if someone asks their questions, how should about their pronouns? How should they answer? Well, I don't know. I, I would just say I would just say I'm a man for myself. Like um, Kirsty Thompson's asking what a shell is. It's someone that they put out there, Kirsty, um, that, that 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 appears to be someone that's going to be telling the truth, but actually but is actually putting out disinformation at, at certain places or to take attention off certain things. Um, but they're actually working for the other side. So there, there is a lot of them. They do exist. There's no doubt about them. In fact, there's probably more now than there's ever been. <clears throat> no free will. That's, there's there's uh, asking what the topic of discussion is. There's nothing in particular. No free will. Um, I just thought I would do a quick live stream uh, just to see how everyone was doing and maybe just have a discussion about anything and everything, really. Um, I haven't put out much content this week, so that's why I've done it. Yeah, that's it. Opinionated Glaswegian saying the truth is in how we're governed and how wrong it is. And that is it. This is the thing. I don't think it matters but what we believe about the universe, whether ETs exist, whether they are flat around, what religion we believe in, what God's real and what isn't. I think we just all need to kind of accept that we're all, we are all in this together and we've got a common enemy. There's no doubt about it. We have an enemy in common. And this is this is all religion should say, right? It shouldn't really matter. You want to believe that, we'll believe this. I disagree that that's what that's the way it is, but I'll let you have it anyway. Um, we'll come together for the sake of our children and our families and everyone else's families and children to get rid of the psychopaths that keep trying to divide us through these things like religion. Um, because some of the religions they're more or less like Catholic and Protestants are a fine example of it, they're more it's more or less the same thing. I mean, they, 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 they believe in the same God, and yet, look at the fighting that there's been, and there doesn't need to be. I, I think, we, I mean, COVID showed us that, that we all need to come together. They've 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 got their sights set on us, there's, regardless of whether you're green or blue or red or purple or whatever, it doesn't matter. If you're not in their club, they're coming for you, and that's that's what they're doing. They're coming for our freedoms. Is this hate, this, uh, hate, bill, uh, this hate speech bill? That, that's obviously been put out in Scotland for the 1st of April, April Fool's Day, and I actually sent uh, that Siobhan Brown an email. Oh, thank you very much for that donation. Um, I don't know who, who was it that put it on? I can't see. Thanks thanks for that, who donated there. I can't see who, it's, who it is yet. I've not got to. I want to look at the, I'll need to look at the questions to catch everyone's. Um, but thank you very much. That's really generous of you. Yeah, so I emailed that Siobhan Brown, but because I'm not in our constituents, um, she, she didn't. Well, she got an, got an automated reply just to say, "Look, can you send your address over to make sure you're a constituent?" Which I didn't do because I'm not. I'm not a constituent. Um, so, uh, but I just told her, "Look, you you can't say that you're for free speech and sign a bill like this into law. It just you just can't do it. Like, um, <laughs> you can't have it both bloody ways." <clears throat> but like I say, I'll not. I don't think I'll get a reply <clears throat> other than the automated.
Hi, Sully. Sully's so saying they pay to rent their relative and universal credit not willing to pay housing benefit. They asked me to do a non-commercial form. What do you think will happen? What, is it, sorry, Sully, is that? Is it like your, is it your brother or your sister? Because uh, uh, how, how close a relative is it? Hi, Don. How you doing? Thank you for joining us. Yeah, you can't, yes, yeah, Scott, you can't go to your, your, your NASA for your information, but see if you start looking into ancient civilizations, you'll start to see that a lot of them, <laughs> this is what I'm reading some of these books, just to refresh my memory, especially pre-Sumeria, they, they knew a lot about a lot of the secrets of the universe, even before we did, um, before, like, well, apparent science confirmed a lot of it, because like I say, yes, they do lie, this is why they have to airbrush things out, um, when they bring pictures back of the moon, stuff like that, because there is stuff they're hiding from you, but they still need to give you, they, ne they, they need to give you the basic truth of it. They just, they give you the, they, they give you the crap information, basically, the basic outlining of it, anything within that that's going to set you free, they're keeping it from you. The thing about space is as well, like I say, when you look up at the stars, <clears throat> that on, those stars, the only and it only exists in that form in your head, so it's 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 an illusion, and it is an illusion that there's all that distance between them. That is true because of frequency. Yeah, we want we want be drove absolutely same. We don't know anything. We're just like little ants on the forest. For absolutely, we are. We don't know anything. <clears throat> Well, that's, that's a good question, OG. That is a good question. Why are they perfectly round? Maybe it's just that, I, I don't know, maybe it's... Because, I mean, when you look at Plato back in Greek uh, Greek times, I think it was Plato, or was it Pythagoras? I can't remember. They had actually out outlined it to be a geometrical shape with the ley lines that are on it. Um, so that would even go against the oblate spheroid theory. Like I say, mate, it's interesting stuff, and it will be interesting if it's flat, but I, I like to know. I, I want to know about reality as a whole, like not just not just the shape of the Earth. Um, and like I say, when you're living in a holographic simulation, I would say there's a lot more to know. Um, it's it's when when you're in this waveform information field and you can create whatever illusion you want. I don't understand why the shape of the Earth would be s such at the top of that list. And so, I mean, some of them, I. I not all of them. Some of them are like mad religious nuts that I've debated, like that when you say, can I say stuff and say, look, I don't believe this because of that. It, they go off on one like, and it's like, geez, oh mate, it's, it's like, calm down. <clears throat> no free will, no free thought, asking if I'm religious. Um, no, I mean, I'm not religious in the sense of a Bible or a, or a Quran or anything like that, but I do believe there is a one creator. There's a great spirit, as I've said, before, I believe there's a great spirit. It's the force that moves all things. It's consciousness. The science of consciousness is what we need to be looking at, essentially, because that is what we are at our base state through the heart chakra and the chakra system. Um, and usually when we've got health problems, it's related to this chakra system. And like I say, all this stuff, <laughs> it, there's just so much more to know. And yet we argue about the shape of the earth and whether a man and a woman are the same or whether they're different and what what their pronouns should be. And while, while we're arguing about all this, all this magic in the universe is happening about reality and that, and I just think that's what we should be looking at. <clears throat> yeah, Patsy Ballantyne, truth, truth mixed with lies. I mean, this is another thing about the flat earth. They, and I know they, some, of, some of them say that, they, well, we, we never believed it was flat back then, but there is cultures that used to believe the earth was flat, so I don't understand why they would tell you it was flat and then go to being round and then come back to being flat again. That that was one thing that did puzzle me about it.
Right, so Yorkshire Puds are, uh, are asking, I was contacted by a pension company and told I had money coming in. It, it was all true. I will have to come off benefits when I get the money. If so, how long could they suspend my claim for a while? So it, what it is, <clears throat> excuse me, Yorkshire Pud, is that the, the two thresholds you'll get, if you've got £6,000 or over, um, when you declare it, you'll get a small percentage taken off your benefit every month. However, they will, if it's over 16,000, they'll close your claim down. And like, let's say it's 20,000. Um, they'll close your claim down until you come back down below 16,000 again. But you can't go out and like buy something like go on a big luxurious, ho holiday, luxurious holiday to bring it down because they'll, they'll, they'll penalise you for that. They say you can't do that. Um, so as long as it's just for like stuff that you need um, and it's not any luxuries, they'll, 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 they'll let you do it. And once it becomes below 16, you can start your claim up again and you'll just get a small percentage taken off your um, your benefit every month, depending on how much you've got. So, that, so that's how they work that. <clears throat> yes, yeah, saggy dogs, every air pilot and ship captain would need to know about flat earth. I mean, I, I'm, I'll be honest, I've, when I, I, this was before I'd got any, any of this stuff. When I, when I was on a plane once back in 2008, and and I, it looked like there was a curve in the sky to me. I mean, maybe I was seeing things. Maybe it was because I don't know, like, but it did, it did look that way. <clears throat> Again, it's it doesn't really matter. I mean, I'd done a bit of research into it, and I just I thought, well, it's, that's not really for me. It's I want to learn about myself and who I really am. And yeah, business, we are the imagination of ourselves. Absolutely, it was stuff like that. That's what I wanted to do. I wanted to change my life. And now that I've done it, I would like to, to help people do it do it as well because I know they can. <clears throat> D Maria, absolutely. Everyone has got the truth. You've got to look into your heart. The truth is there. Absolutely. <clears throat> Open your mind. It's all based in vibration. Absolutely. That is exactly what it is. The vibration of life, which is sound. In the beginning was the word, and the word was sound. Hi, Tracer. Thank you very much. Um, and brilliant. Tracer's saying that I've, I've helped her with the, the, the videos. I've helped her with confidence in dealing with the gaslighting that we experienced with UC. It's unreal. Brilliant. And I love to hear people coming back and saying that. I've had a few people this week message me to say that they've 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 obviously gotten more confidence and gotten their self esteem up thanks to the videos. So it's brilliant that people are coming back and giving me that feedback. So I really appreciate it. <clears throat> Adrian Guess asking what I think of the stuff being put out about the eclipse. I'm not really sure. I mean, like I say, it's it's you've because we we don't know hardly anything of what's going on with regards to everything there is in the universe. You've just got to kind of pick your battles. I mean, I love looking up at the sky. I really do. And I, I mean, I, I know the stars are there because or they are in that form in my head. I can see that they're there and they're beautiful to look at. <clears throat> Yes, Nafu, absolutely. Electrical impulses in your brain gets interrupted and controlled by Wi-Fi and it actually rewires your brain. <clears throat> that was it. Bosnus has just put the proper... I'm terrible, honestly. See, on live streams, I couldn't even remember that Jordan Peterson quote the other week there when I was doing a live stream when it's saying... I know it now. A harmless man is is not a, a, a is not a dangerous man. A dangerous man is a, no. A harmless man is a very very dangerous man that has it under voluntary con control. I still can't get it right on a body live stream. But yeah, the, the actual Bill Hicks quote is: "All matter is merely energy condensed to a slow vibration. That we are all one consciousness experience, experiencing itself subjectively. And um, there is no such thing as death. And life is only a dream. And that that's it in a few words. Thank you very much for posting that, boys. And so really appreciate that." <clears throat> Let's just and whack that troll that line. Now, just just remove them. Yeah, Fobel Moan Christine saying that it's just loose energy, and that's what it is. It's Lucifer. 
Um, that's where they get that word from, Lush, Lucifer. And I'm going to go into that in the video. Uh, the video I'm going to do in about the, the, well, it's a fear farm, but you could essentially call it a Lush farm because that's what fear basically is. But people need to understand why the world is as it is and why there's been so many wars. To generate maximum fear, maximum low vibrational energy because everything is a vibration. Sully's asking what I, I, I know. I've, I'd never heard the non commercial form, mate. Um, it's what, how was it? What relative is it? Is it like your brother or your sister or something like that? <clears throat> Hi, Dave John. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people do comment on my accent, it obviously is quite unique. DLP's asking what my opinion is in the state of the country with all the illegal immigrants having thousands upon arrival. And yeah, I mean, I, I am hearing a lot that they're getting a lot more than what British people are getting through the benefit system. And I think it's really bad. I really do. And it needs to stop. We need to stop letting them in. But because it's part of an agenda, that it's not going to stop because they're moving these people into position. Um, there's a lot of people have made comments and my, on my videos to say that, well, this it's all young men that's coming here, and that's young men, when when it's them and they're leaving their wife and children at home, that's young men, that's what you do when you go to war, and it's a very, very good point, and it's it's worth thinking about. Um, but they are, they're looking to pe move people into these these super cities, these smart super cities for the hunger, they're, they're just lining them up for the Hunger Games Society, and this is why I can't understand why they want to still come here. Um because people are starving, although if they're getting everything pushed through quicker and getting more money, and I, I mean, I, I don't know what it's like in Ireland. I know in Ireland they probably get more. Um, they are getting a lot, but how much is it happening in Britain? No, and I do know, I know for a fact that their, their, uh, their, their claims get pushed through really quickly on universal credit because I've seen it with my own eyes. Um, but why they would want to, keep, they, they want to still keep coming here, even though people don't want them here and it's not about racism it's because people are looking around and saying well I can see my family members and my, my, my neighbours that are in that they're in this they're in distress and they're not they've not got enough to live on and they're not getting their correct benefits and yet these people are coming in here and they're getting their benefits and and I can't get a doctor's an appointment and I can't get a, a dentist appointment which is all true it's all it's all valid points but this is how they stir up hatred. This is why it will not stop, because it's stirring up hatred in people. Um, and someone asked me, they mentioned about the, the Israel Hamas and why why obviously that's happening. It's like, well, they're obviously pushing people, they're pushing the Muslim agenda. No, I wouldn't even call them Muslim. It's not a Muslim agenda. I shouldn't say that. But the Muslim religion, people, it's getting pushed through British society and it's on the news all the time at the moment. And it's, it's stirring up hatred. Like, that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to stir up hatred to trigger World War III um, because this is what they've always wanted. Like, and I, and, and I call again not to get caught in the hatred. This is why we can't blame it on the immigrants. Even though they're still coming here, it's not... We don't want to be directing hatred at them because, first and foremost, hatred only hurts you. It's only going to damage your own health. Thank you very much, Jess. That's really nice of you. It's very generous. Thank you. Um, hatred's only going to, it's only going to, it just poisons your own body. It poisons, it literally poisons your body cells and makes you sick. That's what disease is. That's what, because the body, it, 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 if you're going to get symptoms, it depends on your viral load. And there's one of the, the most common ways viral load gets increased is when um, fear and anger and things like that um, poison the, the 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 cells to increase it, which bring the symptoms through. So it, it literally poisons you. Um, and honestly, uh, that anger, like, it's not good for you. I used to work as a fisherman, and some of the skippers that I'd worked for, you would see you would see their their, their veins popping out their head when they were shouting. They had doctors, they had guy, but guys being told by their doctor, look, you're going to kill yourself by doing this. Not just that, but. They're, they're, they're just you're absolutely destroying yourself with that and it does no good for anyone and all it is going to do is start to trigger violence and 
violence has never worked before, like, and it's not going to work this time because you're on their channel with violence. They know how to handle violence. They're trained for it. What they don't know how to handle is an informed population um, that know what's going on and that are together regardless of what their beliefs are on, on anything. They're, 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 they're united under one force, um, one good cause, one common cause. Because say what you want about these 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 tyrants of this planet, even though they fight with each other, they're they're united under the cause that they um, they're against us, and that if they don't stay united, their goal is not going to become reality. But this is why we need to unite, because when we unite, their their goal's not going to come become reality anyway. Um, and that's why. We, we 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 can't be hating people. We can't be fighting with people, like fighting with each other and arguing about stupid stuff, like because it does absolutely no good. It really doesn't. <clears throat> Open your mouth. She's 16, so she's she, 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 she's very young. Yeah, it's almac37 at mail.com. Open your mind. It's in my channel description if you need it, mate. In fact, I'll just post it in the chat. There you are, sir. <clears throat> Yeah, Daryl, you're right. They can't make up words and expect you to use them. And some of these just stop oil idiots and all. I mean, I seen one of them on talk TV last week, and the guy he was he was he did not have a clue what he was talking about. This is someone that this was a man that had no control over his own faculties or his own mind or his own own opinions, driven completely by others because he got absolutely made a fool of and he made a fool of himself because he didn't know what he was talking about. And that tells you all you need to know about these people. Thank you very much, Sean Paul, uh, getting the ball rolling. I didn't realise that was you, sir. Thank you for joining. How are you doing? I, th I hope you're well, mate. I've just started watching the, your, your episode there, Sean Paul. Um, just getting the time to get round to it, mate. I've been really busy this week, and I've just clicked this bloody down here. Hi, Alexander. How are you doing, sir? Thank you again, uh, Sean Paul. I'll speak to you soon anyway, mate. <clears throat> Saggy dog saying flying, mate. Spinning, mate. Spinning. <laughs> oh, you're talking about oh, flying in a plane. <laughs> okay. Hi, Don. How are you doing? Asking if I do religion. I don't. I, I don't do religion. I do my own religion. I believe in myself. I believe in the energy that's inside of me that as long as I connect with that, I can create whatever world I want. And no external force has any control over me because essentially that's what a religion does. It's submitting to a, a tyrant, essentially a, a god that, um, I mean, in the New Testament's not as bad, like, but I think you need to believe in yourself and the, the energy within you. Um, and I believe there is a there is some form of creation. There has to be, because we can't deny creation, because here we all are. Um, so there had something had to push the button on it. There's, there's no doubt about it, like, but um, I know everyone's got their own interpretation of that, but I believe that a little bit of God resides within each of us. Um, and once we connect with that, we change the world. And then when we connect on an individual level, individually, one at a time, um, eventually it comes it becomes a collective. And when that happens, that's when we change the illusion to something better, something that suits us rather than what suits them. Because... They know how this reality works. They know this is a simulation. They know how, how our mass co-creative consciousness, consciousness works, that co-creatively we actually create the world, good or bad, and they what they feed into our subconscious without us knowing that can create whatever world or whatever prison they desire. But this is why they need to keep this consciousness, the secret of consciousness from us, and because of that fact, because they know that we create it. And if we realize that, then it's game over for them. There's, there's a saying, in the kingdom of the blind, the one-eyed man is king. This is the blind, and they're the one-eyed man, literally. Um, but once we open our own eyes, it's game over. They're not the only eye then, are they? 
And that's the secret. This is the secret. What the secret? This is the knowledge that the secret societies are hiding. The Freemasons, and that's why they hide all this stuff about the geometric nature of the universe, because it does. It sets you free. It it makes you realise that it is just a simulation, and we create it. That's the secret. <clears throat> Hi, Jimbo. How are you doing, sir? Um, I can't even remember if I replied to you this week, Jim. Um, I think you might be saved in a draft. We've been really bit really busy. Um, so I'll give, I'll get, I'll check it over the night. And um, where's, where's the protest, mate? Acoustic gymnastics is saying it's perhaps a big experiment. It's exactly what it is, mate. That's exactly what it is. It's a game that's being played, and we don't know it's a game. We don't, we don't even know it's being played. But now, thankfully, we do. More, more people are realising it. <clears throat> Hi, Wally. How are you doing, sir? Um, I'm very well. How many? Uh, William's asking, how many hours can you work to get UC? Well, it depends, William. It depends on your situation, whether you've got kids or not. It depends on um, how, like, how much money you earn per hour, obviously. But I'll give you a brief example. Um, if you're just a single guy... Um, and you're earning like, if you earn over £389 a month, you're not going to get any universal credit. Um, if you, Unless you've got housing costs, you would get something from that. I think you can, you can work up to 25 hours and still receive housing costs. But again, it's all dependent on your local housing allowance, etc. So it's very, very difficult for me to advise in the comments, especially when I've not got any, any of that kind of information in front of me. But it's usually between 16 hours and 25 Yeah, no, no free will saying a good shell example, Elon Musk and Andrew Tate. I believe Musk, well, Musk definitely won. I don't know about Tate. I've never, I don't really, I've not really watched, watched much of Andrew Tate's stuff. He doesn't, he doesn't do it for me. I've got nothing against the guy like, but um, other than, I mean, people say what he does with webcams and women, but I mean, if they're, if they're willing participants and they're getting paid money for it, I don't see how that's any of my business like <clears throat> Don, thank you very much, sir. <laughs> That's pretty cool. This microphone, off to say. Hi, Tech Junkie. Glad you could join me, mate. I'm very well. Hope you're well. <clears throat> Daryl's saying the UK government gives out one billion in overseas aid without a paper trail. Absolutely. 40% goes to the EU. I mean, this is the thing, Daryl, isn't it? With us... Uh, we were sending this type of money, this type of aid overseas long before COVID or Ukraine or any of that nonsense happened or even long before Syria happened. All this, we were sending aid and it, it makes you wonder where's it all going? Like the last video I done was regards to like how much they lose because of that 13th month and they're saving ridiculous amounts of money no matter what, which way you look at it and it's money that's been removed from our communities. E. Williams is asking what I think will happen to pensioners with the one world government. Well, I don't think they're going to have very long life expectancies, especially with the apparent cures that they roll out for them every six months. So I wouldn't give them a very long life expectancy after that. But listen, it's not going to happen. We're going to put it together. We're going to get it together. We are finally going to grow up spiritually and get it together. Um, there's no doubt about it. I've got faith. Since I started doing this, like the, the the job at Universal Credit and then doing this, people have restored my faith in humanity. There's no doubt about it that we are going to do it. We just need to take responsibility and more, thankfully more and more people are doing that. Yeah, Pat saying that there's. I'm very good, sir. Um, they're saying that they quoted your name to the DWP. AD, is it the ADP or the DWP? You mean to say there? Thank you anyway, and, and I encourage everyone to do that. Let them know that you know that you've been watching the videos, and you know you've you've got a better of understanding of how the processes work. Yeah. <clears throat> 
Yep, one billion over every month overseas without a paper trail. I mean, it's just it's it's ridiculous amounts of money that the British tax uh, the British taxpayer possesses. It really is, and people are bloody going hungry. Yeah, no free will. The Matrix is a documentary, mate. Hi Laura, we shall not be sheep. Absolutely, we 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 can't be divided. We continue to be divided and conquered. It's worked so well for them, and it's time it's time to put it to bed. <clears throat> Alexander's saying that he's into a lot of stuff, quantum stuff like frequencies to balance it. Absolutely, because that's it's the vibration of life, mate, and this is the thing. When you're sick, that's where that's where you need to heal it at the vibrate the vibratory level of reality. That's why, um, like the, your your Chinese acupuncture, it's why they can put a needle into someone's foot to remove m remove a headache because of the, the the meridian lines on the body, and 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 then these meridian lines are all out through the earth. This is why these structures are are put on the vortices where they crisscross because that's where it's stronger. And we've got the same we've got the same meridian lines in the body because everything in a hologram is everything's a smaller part of the whole. That's there's just so much evidence that backs this stuff up. It really it really is in quantum physics. This is the thing and all. Science says that it can't be a particle and a wave. It's impossible. But obviously it's not because it's a hologram, because quantum physics has thrown a spanner in that works. And this is what all needs to be taken into consideration. It really does need to be discussed. I descending into the absurd, um, asking if I know anything about this new welfare reform targeting those with mental illness and ESA and PIP. Do you think Starmer's Labour will keep those new rules if they get in? They will. It, Keir Starmer's a, he's, a, he's an agent for the agenda. He'll bring it in, Sir Keir Starmer. Uh, how he's Labour? How why Labour shouldn't have a leader with Sir in front of it? It just shouldn't be. Um, and he and, and he will. He's a vehicle for it, mate, for this agenda. And he will. They will. Um, He'll keep it. He'll make it worse. It'll get worse under him. Everything will get worse, not better. <clears throat> yeah, acoustic Antarctica's got a lot of interesting stuff down there. That's why they, they don't want you going there. They say there's a lot of electromagnetic uh, electromagnetic energy there, and they're not allowed to. There's no fly zones, but it's because of the it's because of what's there. Um, there's a lot of advanced technology there's been hidden civilizations or lost civilizations that were found there in 2016 and i don't i don't know if it was found in 2016 that's when the, the documents had came to light i can't remember it was i'll need to go over that again but yeah there's a lot going on down in antarctica that that, that, that we don't know about um there's there's they reckon that the i mean hitler went there that's where he went first and there was a there is an establishment uh, uh, uh the fourth reich there uh, Jim Mars wrote, uh, has written a good book about it. Apart, well, it's called The Rise of the Fourth Reich. I haven't actually read it. I've read his first book, Real by Secrecy, but not that one. But it's supposed to be really good. Yeah, acoustic gymnastic. The pyramids, are, they were obviously built with technology that's, that uses sound frequencies that um, goes outside the laws of gravity. That's obviously what was happening. There's no other explanation for it. Whether it was extra, extraterrestrials that used it or not is, is another matter. <clears throat> How are we doing, Crick? I'm not sure they're hiding anything under the pyramids of acoustic gymnastics. I mean, I could be wrong about that. There's, there's probably loads of stuff that need to be dug up there. That's what I'm saying. There's so much, there's so much we don't know. There's so much that's hidden from us. We just don't know the truth, and we just need to try and find it for ourselves. And I, 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 that's why I say to read books because you learn a lot more, a lot quicker.
Yeah, Alexander saying nature and grounding is important for all because that's that's the thing as well. The body runs on electricity and there's electrical vibrations in the earth and you can reconnect with that. Makes you wonder as well why you, why they started uh, getting us to wear rubber, rubber soles, doesn't it? Maybe it's to stop that connection. <clears throat> but yeah, that's why grounding and earthing is so beneficial because you're making that reconnection. Yeah, Paul, 432 hertz, that's the one. Yeah, the Antarctic Treaty is an interesting read as well. No free will. Thanks for bringing that up. Thank you, Crick. That's really nice of you, pal. <clears throat> yeah. There's people still arguing about this flat earth stuff, man. I mean, geez, oh, I put it to bed. It's, I think we can all agree that we're, that we're all going to disagree. Or not all of us, but some of us are going to disagree on it, so... I think the discussion's at an end, to be honest with you. It doesn't, because you're not going to convince the people that, that that do say it's a globe, and the people that say it's a globe aren't going to convince the people that say it's flat, so it's better just to put it to bed. No problem at all, open your mind. Thank you very much, Di Maria. I'm going to have a look at some of that stuff as well. Thank you. <clears throat> because of the elect because the brain Jasmine's asking, how does the Wi-Fi rewire your brain? Because the brain runs on electricity as well. The synapses are, are electrical, um, and because the the uh, the Wi-Fi fields, I think it's because they're so low vibrational. I can't remember the exact terminolo terminology I read when I was looking into it, but it does. It can. It does rewire the brain. It's got. It's got so much more to it than that. Like, but that is one way that they do it. Yeah, Snafu is talking about Barry Troer. Absolutely, he's brilliant. Him. If you want to learn about that stuff, Jasmine, um, about five G and Wi-Fi and how it affects the the human body, Barry Troer is your man. Yep. Thought equals feelings. Thoughts are frequencies as well. Thoughts are vibrations. See every thought you've got that vibrates into the into the unknown. It vibe. That's why you've got to keep them positive and think about yourself in a positive light because of that. Because again, that's what creates the reality around you. Hi, Rusty Shack. I do. The sim Rusty's asking if I believe in the simulation theory. Absolutely, Rusty, I do. I believe in the simulation theory, mate. That's, 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 from the evidence that I've seen, um, the, the sort of the documentaries I've watched, the, the people I've listened to that are advocating it, um, I believe they've produced enough. Um, and the fact that you can, that you can model the electric universe in the lab. So the, you can't do that with a big bang theory. <clears throat> And the thing is, as well, I mean, I think a lot of the universe is made up of plasma, which is quite a lot. It's a high percentage, and, and it's apparently the perfect medium for a simulation. So, again, it just, the evidence stacks up. It really does. Pat Laughter saying fear keeps vibrations low. Absolutely, because fear is an extremely low vibration, and in fact, it's the lowest. That's why... DWP generate, well, the, the universal credit line is set up to generate an abundance. That's why wars are constant, and there's always been wars for thousands of years, because it generates an abundance. And I'll go into why that is in the video. <clears throat> Rusty's saying they're waiting for the bat signal, absolutely. Same back time, same back channel. <clears throat> you 
Carmen Giles is asking, where can we learn about frequency? Start looking at cymatics, eh, Carmen? That'll interest you. That'll give you a good understanding of it. I'll just type that in how you spell that. Type that word into YouTube. It's a good place to start with it, cymatics. I've seen, like, it's just putting particles onto a plate and putting a sound frequency through it. The higher the frequency, the more complex the pattern. And there's times where they put frequency through it and they, you can actually, when you, see, when you see it close up, it just looks like little people, little human, like little bodies walking around. It's amazing. It, it does, it, it shows that that's, that is what, that's reality. And the beginning was the word and the word was sound. It can't exist without sound frequency. Thank you very much, Sarah Claire. I've, I, honestly, I really appreciate that. It's really generous of you. And I, yeah, my weight loss as well. It was, a, it was a brilliant journey to get through. And you've lost six stone. It's absolutely amazing. You should be so proud of yourself. And congratulations, because it's not an easy thing to stick to. So, And the thing is as well, if you can control what you eat, you can control anything. Right, it's, um, so you're asking about the last two stone. Have you watched my um, my fasting video, uh, Sarah Claire? I take it, yeah. Because there's a video on how I how I did it with regards to fasting and eating food in blocks. So, uh, I mean, I, I'm currently doing a 14 um, hour fast every day at the moment. Sometimes I do a 16. It's quite hardcore that way, but you'll lose weight doing that way. And if you go into my if you've not watched that video, um, it's, it's on for about an hour and 10 minutes. You, you might get some, some good tips from that if you haven't already. I mean, or alternatively, you could contact me if you wanted as well. Um, if you want to have a discussion on the telephone, that's absolutely fine. Just get in contact with the email I provided and we can set it up. Yes, Nafu, fear, anger, and all the rest burns too much of your energy. It does. And when you look into cymatics, you can see that when you write lot, it's like uh, Dr. Emoto as well. He done something where you, you, you freeze water crystals with words on the side of them, and he put like love and peace, and they would be beautiful geometrical shapes. But then when you put fear and hate, it's all horrible and minging, and it just doesn't look very nice at all. And that's the effect that that has on the body. That's the difference. It really is an eye opener, cymatics. It really is. <clears throat> yeah, and the cymatics, if you look at the Templar, you can see a lot of shapes in cymatics. You can see the Knights Templar uh, symbol on it as well. And they actually use it as a symbol, like the Templar, the Templar badge thing, and you can see that in cymatics, and that is that's the secrets that they're hiding. Hi, acoustic gym uh, gymnastics. If you can donate through uh, Super Thanks, or you can donate to my PayPal as well, if you've got it, and I really appreciate it. Thank you for the gesture. Yes, yeah, Suzanne. Barry Troyer is a very good guy. He's, he's brilliant. I learned quite a lot from him at the start of COVID. <clears throat> Kirsty's saying she's never been overweight until COVID, and I think there's a lot of people like that, Kirsty. Because like I've, like I've said, we, we, we eat our feelings. When we're feeling down, it's nice to have something that, 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 that lights our brain up. It's usually something sugary. It is for me. I've got a right problem with that now, so I have. Um, but yeah, and I think a lot of people do that, especially during COVID when there wasn't anything else to do. And it did. It caused a lot of problems for a lot of people, that lockdown or those lockdowns. And it's good. Congratulations that you're back to normal. Magic Moon saying quantum physics is nonsense, but <laughs> I don't see how that how people can say that. It's we barely understand it. Like <clears throat> hi, Botanic Magic. I noticed a, a, an email from you today as well. I'm not sure. I don't think I've replied to it, but I will get back to it tomorrow morning. I do apologise for the delay.
The cross section, the Knights Templar symbol is the cross section of tomato. Yeah, <laughs> doesn't surprise me that because, like I say, that this is everything in a, a hologram is a smaller part of the whole. So that wouldn't surprise me if it isn't. Those shapes are in pieces of fruit. It wouldn't surprise me at all. I would expect them to be, in fact. Yeah, Mo, how you doing, pal? It did. Lockdown changed the world forever. Absolutely, it did. Alexander saying Quanta Capsule app is amazing if you want to balance your shatters. Um, it also connects to the Genius app as well. I might actually have a look at that myself, Alexander. Thank you very much. Um, so that's us getting to the kind of hour in 15 minutes. I've got a couple of things that I need to do tonight as well. I've got a couple of work, a couple of bits of work to do. I need to, I want to get some more pages uh, read as well because I'm wanting to get uh, this next video recorded hopefully tomorrow. Um, anyone, if anyone needs any help at all, if 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 you've sent me an email and I've not gotten back to you, you've sent a comment or whatever, you need any help, any questions answered, get in touch with the email that I've put in the chat tonight, um, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Um, I would like, honestly, everyone that comes along here, it, this, it, I didn't really have much to talk about tonight and I was a bit stuck, I've, that's, I'm hitting a writer's block at the minute if you like, um, but the fact that he's all come along, I mean 150 people, 142 people, it's just, it's absolutely amazing and I love every one of you, you are the reason that I keep on doing this and I keep helping people and people keep saying to me that Alan, you've changed my life and you're actually helping people as well because if you weren't saying all these nice things and telling me to keep on doing it, I wouldn't keep on doing it and the people wouldn't have got the information. So I would like to thank everyone for that and everyone who's donated as well. It's so generous of you. It does help me out a lot and I really appreciate it. Um, like I say, I'll try and get this next uh, um, video done tomorrow. If not, it'll probably be Monday, but I'm, I think I should get it done tomorrow. Everyone, absolutely look after yourselves and I'll speak to you on the next live um, and I'll see you on the next video as well. Much love to you all and look after yourselves, okay? I'll send you some love just before I go.